Hi YouTube! This new camera angle adds that over there in the background. And that kind of has an important role in my video today. Mainly because of this. Homunculus. Homunculi. Homunculi. Homunculus. Homunculi. Those things. The reason that I'm gonna talk about homunculus today is that the internet is such a wonderful tool. I pulled up homunculus off of uh, Wikipedia. Yes, I know the most reliable source on the internet for information. The way that we perceive things or or the way that things are perceived versus the way that things are in a, how you experience the world. Um, the way that they, that they explain it is that when you're watching a movie, you don't actually think about it, but when you do, it's like the only way to explain how you're watching a movie is if there's a tiny person in your head viewing that info and knowing what it is that it's viewing and that that what that's what the brain is it, the brain is I may be wrong here I know I am um, interpreting the data that you're watching but you, you can't it, there's no way to wrap your head around it so they bring in the homunculus argument that there's a tiny person inside of you watching the movie that you're watching and processing the information. I watched Full Metal Alchemist the, the entire two seasons. Uh, it took me about a week and I finished it yesterday. So I'm driving to work and I just feel this I don't know, disconnected feel. I, it, it's no news that I feel disconnected every day, so. But I just felt so shrunken in within myself that, okay, so, you know, we've got a very limited point of view. It's just th that we can't see inside ourselves. But while I was driving, I, when I was looking left and right, like I usually do to see my mirrors, I kept seeing this right here. And it's very, very weird when you're driving to work and thinking about yourself as an insignificant speck in a larger sea of, I don't know, everythingness. So just already feeling so small, I pulled back onto myself watching me thinking all of this. And I just felt like I was inside a shell. Like I was a different person inside of a, a shell going through the notions of driving and thinking and just going to work. I made a video earlier. Uh, explaining what that is in the background. That is my Full Metal Alchemist wall scroll that I got on Saturday. I bought it specifically to take to the Vic Nanya. Uh, Vic Mignogna? Mignogna. Mignogna. Vic Mignogna. You have a very weird last name and I can't pronounce it. I took it specifically for the Vic signing panel that was in the dealer's room at AWA and I wanted him to sign it and then say to the camera, hello YouTube, in Ed's voice, I got shut down on, sa on Saturday. No, I got shut down on Friday. Didn't get it signed. There was a line, big line. I got there 15 minutes early before the sign, uh, before the signing, and his most loyal fans were already there wanting his signature, and they just, they got there very early. I mean, you gotta, you gotta give it to the guys. They were committed. Me, I was at Troy Baker's panel, waiting on the time, writing the clock. I'm not saying that he wasn't interesting, I just, I didn't want to go into another video room and just, I don't know, waste my time there. So I went to Troy's panel room. It was pretty funny and he sang the uh, Excalibur song and uh, he did a little show and dance with his questions and uh, answered them pretty, pretty accurately. It was pretty cool. And then when that was over, I shot to the dealer's room and I tried to get in line and there was a lady holding up a sign saying end of line or yeah end of line and then I asked her is this the line for Vic's um, autograph signing and she goes yeah but we had to cut it my laziness and not wanting to stand there an hour and a half which by the way that's how long those people stood in line <laughs>